permissible permutation. So this is a permutation to be applied if there are repeated elements from the given set. So once this happens, we use the formula P is equal to N factorial over P factorial, Q factorial, R factorial. So as we all know, N represents the number of elements from the given set, while P, Q, R are the numbers of repetitions of each element, if there is. For example, how many distinguishable permutations can be made from the letters of the void statistics? So even if there is no statement saying that this is distinguishable permutation, automatically, we will be considering this problem under distinguishable permutation because upon looking at the elements from the given set, we do have repeated elements. We do have like elements here. So therefore, this really falls under distinguishable permutations. So for us to solve or to solve this problem, so we use this formula under distinguishable permutation. So n, what is our n? n is the number of elements from our given set. So we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we do have 10 elements. So our n is said to be 10. Divided by those elements that were repeated. So here, the repeated elements are the letter s. So s repeated 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So we're going to have divided by 3 factorial. What more elements? So we do have t. Letter T repeated 3 times as well. So 1, 2, 3. So another 3 factorial. What more? So A didn't repeat. I repeated 2 times. 1, 2. So divided by additional 2 factorial. So no more elements were repeated. Thus our equation transformed into P equals 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So the next thing that we do is we simplify all of this factorial. For 10 factorial, this means 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So upon simplifying, that gives us 3,628,800. So to be divided by 3 factorial, which is equivalent to 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Then another 3 factorial, which also gives us 6. And another 2 factorial, so which, which means 2 times 1, so the answer is 2. So we further simplify the denominator, so 6 times 6 times 2. So therefore, this now transform into 72. So we do have 3,628,800 to be divided by 72. So therefore, we may now conclude that the number of Distinguishable permutations can be made from this problem from the word statistics is 50,400. So this is how we use the formula under distinguishable permutation. Let's have another example. How many distinguishable permutations can be made from the numbers? 2, 3, 3, 5, 2, 2, 6, 2. Again, as we are, we are seeing, there are repeated elements. We do have like elements from our given set. So this falls under distinguishable permutation. So of course, we are going to use the same formula. So our n this time now will be, so we let us count the number of elements present. So we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So our n is 8. So we do have 8 factorial divided by those repeated elements. So what are those elements that were repeated? So the number 2 repeated how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number 2 repeated 4 times. So we are to divide that 8 factorial by 4 factorial. Another more. So number 3 also repeated 2 times this time. 1, 2. So we are to divide it by another 2 factorial so no more no more repeated elements so therefore our equation transform into p equals 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial which is based on the number 2 that were repeated 4 times and another divided by 2 factorial which is based on number 3 that was repeated 2 times so we further simplify this factorial 8 factorial so when simplified 
is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equivalent to 40,320. So, to be divided by 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that gives us 24. And another divided by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. So, we further simplify the denominator part, which is 24 times 2, and that gives us 48. So, giving us 40,320 divided by 48. So, upon dividing this properly, therefore, the answer to the problem is 840. Distinguishable permutation. Another example, last example, let us have this one. How many distinguishable permutations can be made if you have 5 red balls, 3 green balls, and 4 blue balls? So this is quite different from the first examples, but this still falls under distinguishable permutations because upon visualizing the problem, so if we do have 5 red balls, so we're going to have R, 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 R. Ah, so this is how we represent those 5 red balls. So 5 R. Then 3 green balls. So we do have G to represent the green balls. G and G. So we do have 3 green balls. And 4 blue balls. So we do have B, 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 and B. Okay. So upon seeing the visualization of this problem, so obviously we do have like elements or repeated elements here or duplicate elements. So thus, we are going to use the same formula. So n factorial over p factorial, q factorial, l factorial, and so on. Okay? So our n is based on the number of elements. So upon counting, so we do have 5 plus 3 plus 4. So we do have here 12 factorial. So divided by, so the repeated elements, our r repeated four, uh, 5 times, which is the 5 red balls. So we're going to divide it by 5 factorial. And another 3 factorial based on the number of green balls. And another 4 factorial based on the number of blue balls. So, therefore, our equation will be 12 factorial divided by 5 factorial, 3 factorial, and 4 factorial. So, as usual, we simplify this factorial notation. So, 12 factorial, 1 simplified, is equal to 479,1600. So, to be divided by 5 factorial, which is equivalent to 120, times 3 factorial, which is equivalent to 6, then another times 24, which is based on the 24th factorial. So, just like what we did, we simplify the denominator first. So, 120 times 6 times 24. So, therefore, we will be dealing now with 479,1600 divided by 17,280. So, upon dividing this properly, so therefore, we will get that the number of distinguishable permutations can be made from 5 red balls, 3 green balls, and 4 blue balls will be 27,720. Okay? So, this is how easy to deal with problems involving distinguishable permutations or problems that were in the given set contains duplicated or like elements. So, for watching. Hope you learned something from this. See you next time.